Another cool way to hang a painting I'm going to put a video out on is with thumbtacks. These are actually furniture tacks. They cost me like $2.59, something like that at Home Depot. And I'm going to make a video on how to put these on a painting and hang it on the wall. And you can do this if you use thumbtacks for a dollar or two. Okay, so you bought a painting and it came all rolled up, not on a frame. Something like this. And you thought, well, maybe I'll stretch it myself. Or maybe I'll take it somewhere. And it was a little expensive. So today I'm going to show you how you can do this with just some very tools for around a dollar. That's right. How to hang this for only a dollar or two. A rolled painting. I call it the thumbtack method. And today I'm actually going to be using upholstery nails. I picked these up at Home Depot. I like them because they got a nice little finish on them. I don't know if you can get that in there, but these were, I don't know, $250, $279, something like that. They weren't very expensive. Um, if you really want to do it on the cheap, you can just get thumbtacks at the dollar store. They would work just the same. Um, I got a hammer. Um, if you got a really strong thumb, you probably don't need a hammer, but I would recommend a hammer or something to pound them in. A smooth rock if you don't have a hammer. Um, a level comes in handy, not required, but just makes it go a little faster, and that way you don't have to readjust it if you don't get it on just right. Um, I've got a tape measure just to check it out on the wall, just to make sure I get it where I want it. And then a little piece of tape, just kind of an extra set of hands. And I've got a marking pen. Um, first I need to determine where it's going to go. My house is full of artwork and I don't have many walls left. So in my studio I've got this one section of wall here. So I'm going to squeeze it in there. I've determined that my wall space is 37 inches and hold it under. I'm going to remove a couple inches from one end and one inch from the other end. Um, I think a person needs to at least remove maybe a half inch so you have a nice nice reveal or if you want to leave some of the some of the canvas showing you can and that would do a nice frame but you have to be really precise if you do that so for this demonstration I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna fold it under a couple inches on one end and one inch on the other end I flip the painting over and I have started folding the sides in and I got out my tape just to make sure that the measurement is the same on the bottom as it is on the top. Um, it was off a little bit so I adjusted it. Um, if you don't have a tape measure you could use a piece of string. Um, there's all kinds of things you could use just to check it. I'm going to give you a pro tip. When you're doing these corners make sure that this white fabric is tucked under just a little bit because when you hang it on your wall you don't want that sticking out. It'll just look tacky. Here's another pro tip. I got this foam board from the 99 cent store. It was actually $1.29 or something like that. But you can use this to check and see that if your folds are accurate, you can check the squareness of it. Um, not required, but depending on how picky you are, you might want to check and make sure that it's ag exactly square, I guess you'd say. If, if you don't mind it being off just a little bit, it is artwork. Sometimes being off a little bit is kind of fun. Okay, I got it all taped up and I checked for square with my foam board and I'm happy with it. Let's flip it over and see what it looks like from the front. Nice, I think I'm happy with it. Now I'm ready to tack it to the wall. On the wall, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take a level and just put a few little marks just so I know that it's level. If you don't have a level, you can hold it up there and put a few little marks. If you've got a friend, they can stand back and take a look at it and help you out. Let's tack up in the center. At this point, I can adjust the painting. I'm hanging it right next to a door, so I want to make sure that it looks even. And also, too, it's right at the end of a wall, so I want to make sure that that looks even. So at this point, I can adjust it before my second tack. But once my second tack goes in, I'm pretty committed also, too, if you wanted to, you could measure and make all the tacks evenly spaced, whatever formula you come up with for your painting. 
Okay, I've got my top row in, and I'm happy with the way that it lines up with my door. The door is actually a little bit out of level, so I moved the painting just a little bit. But another pro tip is when tacking it, don't put the tacks all the way in at first, because that way, if it's not just how you want it, you can pull them out. Because when you put it up, I got the corners, and I'm pulling away from the top, pulling, pulling down and away to kind of get this to stretch flat. And then I'm gonna go do the middles and I'm gonna pull down a little bit. And if it's not tight or flat enough, then I can always just pop the tacks out and um, stretch it a little bit more. Well, here we are with the final installation. Uh, I'm pretty happy with it. Um, I just went real minimal with the tacks. You could go more depending on what kind of look you want. Um, also too, if you're interested in any of my artwork, I sell paintings online, um, on eBay. Uh, best way to find me is my name is Mark Little, M-A-R-K-L-I-T-T-L-E. Just Google Mark Little Paintings, and there's three of us in, that'll come up. I'm the guy with the crazy top hat. And then click on the one that takes you to eBay. I don't sell paintings on those other sites. I can't get them off there. But go to eBay, and once you're in eBay on my painting, if you scroll down towards the bottom, it'll say uh, visit store. You can go into my store and there you can see all my artwork. I have hundreds of artworks for sale and they're all very affordable. Thank you for watching.